Sideline smiles. Our past is held in photo albums, drinking stories. The present is a gift. And here at Ulti TV, we want to make sure we always appreciate it. Capturing the immortal moments of Ultimate from around the world and making sure everyone can enjoy them for free. For ever. Because the future, the future belongs to all of us. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting-edge strategies and to see analysis of world-class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world and share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of the Spring Invites here in Laverne. Open division action all weekend long with the little women's showcase game mixed in there as well. All to play for here in the semi finals between Jet Set from Belgium and Gentle from Belgium. Jet Set. Arguably with the home advantage being the host of the tournament. But Gentle here to put up a fight and play for the coveted wildcard spot at ECF later this season. Luke Burgess here alongside Hannah Penelbry. Hannah, tell us about this, this game. Tell us about this matchup. Well, it should be a really fun one to watch. These two teams, when they play each other, say they have a really enjoyable, really highly spirited experience. Gentle, of course, winning second in spirit at the European Championships last season, where they placed 11th overall over the Scottish team Alba. 
But the last time these two teams matched up against each other was again on Belgian soil, back at the Belgian Ultimate League not too long ago. And that one ended up being a clincher in sudden death. So these two sides really know what each other are about. They're very friendly, very cordial. So it should be a really good example of some of the higher levels of Belgian Ultimate. I think, you know, you've got to favour Gentle a little bit. They have a bit more pedigree at a higher stage. Last year, Jet Set were unable to qualify through the central region to get to the EUCF. And obviously, you know, had a lovely time in Carola, did we all? So it should be fun to see these two teams play against each other. And everyone loves a good Belgian derby. So Jet Set coming down on defense to start the game. Nice. Gentle immediately throw the disc away. Unforced error, perhaps a slip on the footwork on that undercut. Causing the overthrow, but early break opportunity for Jet Set. So they get the disc moving to this near side. Centering pass, swing to the far side now. Deep shot. Has a receiver in the end zone, but the disc is too far. Yeah, way too much at the arm of Everett Visca. Fock not able to come down with that. Would have required a superhuman effort. To get up for that one. So not the ideal start for either of these teams coming out. No, some nerves perhaps. This is the semi-final. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. And of course, what we're we playing for, but that golden ticket into EUCF this season. Literally golden as well. It's beautiful. We'll show you in a bit. So some reset passes around the back. As Gentle try to make something of this opportunity. Holsters the deep shot. Do you have a receiver very deep? But happy to work it around the back for now. Big layout grab to save possession. Looking infield now. Swing to this near side. Multiple layout bids in a row for Jet Set. Gentle, maintain possession. And there's the pop to the end zone for the score. Much more convincing offense on the second time of asking for Gentle. They do hold their own. And go up 1-0. Yep, yeah, Toby the Kalana there with the inside shot, finding Vincent van der Walder. And it's the number 90 who we know that Jet Set are really going to try and shut down Arthur van der Vega. Really talented young player. One of two Van der Vegas. Actually, no, I take that back. It's Aaron, number 88. They're really going to try to shut down. But Arthur is also very good at Frizz. But uh, with Gentle, we know they like their big shots to their really athletic receivers on offense. So Jet Set are mindful of that. They're one of the better teams at shutting down Gentle's long looks. And certainly, when Jet Set are on coming out on offense, they do have some slightly more, uh, should we say, elder statesman type players. Of course, the history of Jet Set is all about the, the in terms of the name, all about those uh, early days players who used to fly around the world playing fun tournaments, the Jet Set elite mm. of Leuven. Of course, these days we try and be more eco-focused with our carbon footprints and whatnot. But on offense, expect to see Jet Set come out quite conservatively, but their Dutch pickup getting us underway, Tom Blasman in the number five. Yeah, good pull from Gentle. Landing on the sideline, causing some problems for Jetsa early. They're forced back into their own end zone. Nice flick to the far side to advance Jetsa down the field. Gentle staying tight though. Robert somehow max the disc back to his teammate. Lady Luck smiling on Christoph Phillips yeah. there. Still can't rising, has to go for the reset. Nice quick one, two. Looks off the return pass. Deep shot now. 
looking for the right in the end zone. It fades too far to the left. Well, there are five number fives, and Blasman was the attempted target in the end zone. That's going to be a turnover. Dan Damare, the number 19, real difference maker for Jet Set on offense. It's sort of one of those players that he, I don't think he played all of the games yesterday. Damare is having a little bit of an injury at the moment. And certainly, Gentle have been tactical coming into this tournament in general. Yesterday was pretty heavy duty. Four games for both mm. these teams. Yeah, brutal format. Deep shot from Gentle now. Batted to the ground by Rava. So both teams able to get the disc back after their offense turns over. Gentle managed to hold on their second time of asking in the previous point. Let's see if Jet Set can do the same. Lots of pressure on defense. No call despite the contact and Gentle get another chance to break. Simons. Pops it to the middle. Quick disc movement from Gentle now. Quick backhand to the near side. Just a few meters shy of the end zone now. Swinging it around the back. Nothing available in the end zone just yet. And that shot to the front corner is too low. Berkriken not able to get enough air under that disc. And third opportunity for Gentle now, for Jet Set now. As they go deep immediately, it's going to be a bit of a battle under the disc, but Rava can't come down with it. Yeah, it was a nice early shot from Revere, but it was just that thing of the disc sat way too long in the wind. It's way more of a factor today is this breeze. Yesterday it was pretty still. Today we've had items <laughs> falling off of tables, getting caught by the elements. Yeah, wind coming from behind the camera to the going towards the far side of the field. As Gentle get their offense moving. Finding some passes around the back. A creak in. Advancing forwards. Receives the centering pass back. Gentle managing to keep the disc moving, but not able to set up any serious threats just yet. Hammer over the top. That's dangerous in the wind. And it is batted to the ground. Yeah, an adventurous shot for sure. But these two teams really well matched. And these long points really demonstrating how well they know each other, going toe to toe. The wind picking up just that little bit more. As you can see, the disc sail too high. Brought down by Swartz. And shot to the end zone for Gentle. Goes just a bit too far. There wasn't a huge amount of space to put that into, and I thought the throw was good to adjust at the end, it's still a bit too high. I think that also had an extra gust of wind underneath it. The inconsistency of the elements, adding that extra level of difficulty. So this is an O point for Jet Set. If they score, it will just be a hold, but one of those holds that feels much more important. Power position now. Long leading pass, not quite to the end zone. Brought down by Demare. Looking into the end zone, break side backhand is just too far. Bit more patience required perhaps, but that's the most threatening that this Jet Set offense has looked all point. But they're gonna have to dig deep and play yet more defense. Gentle have been looking dangerous on the disc. Huge say Callahan! And what a way to hold your own point. Jet Set get their first point on the board in style. Danger, danger, Dan de Mare. <laughs> that was quite a grab. 
I was gonna say he got Enzo nice super hard. Like there was not really any moment with that earlier turnover that Dandamare looked at uh, any reset, but what a way to redeem yourself and get yourself a, a very quick goal. <laughs> That was absolutely beautiful. Wow. Bit of a marathon point, but what a way to finish it. Gentle are going to be absolutely kicking themselves. They had so many opportunities to put in the first break of the game. But at the end of it all, when the dust settled, Jet Set with a layout Callahan score. Absolutely. Wow. Dandamare <laughs> causing a, a bit of a skew in our stats now. Because, of course, the uh, gentle player assisting. But that's a nice statement piece after a very, very long point. So, gentle back on offense. They weren't able to complete on the first time of asking in the last point. But they did get it back and slot it in. Deep shot now. There is a poach off the back. And Jet Set do get the turnover. That disc sailing too high. But Jet Set with the full length of the pitch to go. And the wind rising up. Yeah, we know that Gentiles has already said really like those deep shots and that was some smart poaching off the back just to make the player have to go really high. Lots of pressure put on Tob de Krana. Oh, huge layout grab to save possession for Jet Set on that far side. Centering pass now. High grabs required, but Jet Set maintaining possession. Finding the centering pass. Holsters the deep shot, goes for the under. Smart choice. Glassman now. Up line to Canton. This is good offense from Jet Set. Keeping the disc moving. On a layout block in the lane, there was what looked like a missed switch. It goes unpunished. Yeah, the Klana with some smart poaching. They really did try and hit that free player on the break side, but couldn't thread the needle. A good backwards layout to get the block. And a pick in the stack. Good use of creativity by Jet Set, though. That is the, how they're going to win this game, is by taking creative options, not trying to just, you know, run it through your legs. Be smart. Shot to the end zone. Sailing high, but it is brought down. And Gentle's O-line. Once again, turnover, but get the job done. As they now lead 2-1. Yeah, really lovely, expansive shot. Side to side on the field. Get another look at that poach layout block from the climber. High release sets up the, the old hockey assist and some double happiness with an assist rather than the grab, but presence there, you know, good catch up on the break side. And a slightly shorter point than the five turns each for Jet Set's first mm. <laughs> offensive possession. Yep. So hopefully they can be a bit cleaner this time. Yeah, gentle with the advantage so far. Slightly more efficient offense. Neither team managing to put it in cleanly, but... That's exactly what Jet Set will be looking to do in this possession. So again, holsters the deep shot, hard undercut, and a huge layout block. The Kranen saw that coming from a mile away, accelerated hard into the bid. Gentle with a chance to break. Looking for a reset, Stolkart rising, does find an option in the backfield. Another layout bit attempt. Van Krieken maintains possession for Gentle. 
Deep shot now is blocked by Jet Set. 2v1 in the end zone. Yeah, Declan are getting that block, but then a bit too feisty towards the end zone. That was a bit of a predictable shot under double coverage and very low. So Jet Set looking to hold once again. Swing to Demare. Deep shot going very high. Four players underneath it. Anyone's disc. And foul is being called. Yeah, that was a hospital pass out of Blasman. Formerly playing for the Chut Ultimate Mix team. They do like those big bladey shots, but that one just had way too much air underneath it. And a big pack of players colliding underneath. Uh, definitely hand to disc action. Shame yeah. there was no one sort of underneath the pack to do a bit of garbage collection. That was probably catchable off the back of the pack. A little yeah. max score. So Heyman's gets a hand to it for Jet Set. Unclear from this angle whether or not there was any contact yeah. on the catch. Really hard to tell. There's a big group of people. That's how it feels, isn't it? So it's going to go back. Tested foul is the resolution. Blastman will get another opportunity. We'll see if he's following Glasto rules. Do it again. So Blastman with the disc who uh, missed his bus oh. <laughs> to get here on Friday night. Whoops. Thankfully, lots of players coming across from the Netherlands. So Blastman was learnt from his mistake and went for the centering pass instead. Pick called. On the pass to Heymans. We'll get to keep the disc this time. Centering pass Demare across to the far side. Last minute again. Looking for Demare in the middle. Slips on the reset cut. They do keep the disc moving. This is a much better offense from Jet Set. Hammer across to the far side is good. And that's more like it from Jet Set. Confident offense, not requiring a layout Callahan to get their second point on the board. Yeah, really lovely vision. The way that cut developed across the back of the end zone for that hammer. You can see there, sort of a bit of sauntering. Had to really <laughs> turn on the gas and run it down. But Really lovely stuff for the grab and a bit of creativity. I, we've mentioned it during that point, but I'm really appreciating how much Jet Set are keeping the disc alive. Those resets working very well together. We saw a bit of a stumble off of Dandamare trying to get free sort of in the hand of space, immediately replaced by Christoph Phillips. So they're doing a great job of Keeping the angles changing, it's largely most of the turnovers seem to be coming off of errant long shots that sit and hang a little bit too much or perhaps are a bit too low. And of course, lots of forced turnovers from just straight up blocks. Big layouts. Well, certainly the fiery game that we were hoping for. Both teams' O-lines managing to convert at the start of this game despite the turnovers. Encouraging stuff for later in the game. Another close D attempt, but shot to the end zone. It's good. Number 33 for number 34. The to Osterlink. Absolutely lovely play. And our first clean hold of mm. the entire game comes at, to make it 3 2 to Gentle. We got there eventually. <laughs> Love that shape on the inside. See the way he sort of steps out and sort of creases the hips to get that release yeah. point. And uh, Osterlink 
Making, just making sure, a little bit of a collision with the fence to the right. Although I'm digging the lilo action around the goalposts of the soccer goals here in Leuven. It's a real decorative look. I feel very tropical looking at them, which was much needed <laughs> yesterday when the conditions were, should we say, less than ideal? Yeah. The morning was nice. It was. And this morning has been gorgeous. Yes. Hopefully it stays that way. As that disc sails out of bounds, we get our first bricked pull of the game. Demare will field it. For jet set. A vertical stack on this occasion. Gentle surrounding the front of it, but straight up one to one at the back. So reset pats to Blasman. Back to Demare. Really enjoying the Ungergaard matchup for Dan Demare. Almost losing his footing. He's trying so hard to get a block. Phillips now. Surveying the field. Demare attacks the disc with two hands and puts up the deep shot. There is separation. Huge bid required, but bit too huge. Yeah, tiny bit too much juice on it from Dan De Mare. Wind not helping. That will have pushed that disc down and a little bit further. There is more of a crosswind than a, well, sorry, diagonal across the pitch, left to right, near to far side, as our camera views have it. But huge effort to yeah. try and redeem that one. I think that's Arnold van der Roost. A valiant attempt for sure. Ambitious, but the coverage at the back not so great. Two players chasing down from Gentle, but I think they got caught a little bit sleeping. Yeah, it was a big opportunity for Gentle for sure, but for Jet Set for sure. But Gentle now, break chance, see if they can put it in cleanly. Neither team's D line has already been firing on their offensive possessions, but well saved after the tip. Gentle looking a bit stuck on that far sideline now, though. Good defense from Jet Set's O line. And Bosman gets the block. Once again, Jet Set's O line playing good defense, getting the disc back after their mistakes. Bosman now surveying the end zone. Has to go backwards. Demare. Demare in the end zone. Good footwork. And that's nicely done from Jet Set on the second attempt. Yeah, really fantastic awareness from Demare. Just making sure he pops those feet inbounds after picking off the swill. Mm. <laughs> Tom Blasman with a great defensive block to retain, well, regain possession and Heymans with the assist. It was really tricky for Gentle throwing up into that breeze, sort of, you know, there was a second attempt at a recatch on the far sideline that went their way and then sort of came unstuck a little bit. We're definitely going to see Gentle try and stack their D-lines. Obviously, defence wins games. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your O-line has the job of going out and having to just hold on to dear life. Not losing the game, yes. Exactly. And, and at the moment, both sides are bringing lots of explosiveness on D. It's just about retaining your focus and really just executing those throws, throws all the way through in these blustery conditions. Yeah, Gentle's D-line have been able to get a block every single point. Just not been able to punch in the breaks though. And it's breaks that are important. Blocks are really only good if you can convert them. Absolutely, but if you can get those proper run through or layout blocks, it sort of, you know, makes the throwers sort of question themselves, doesn't it? Gives them the fear. And actually, you know, early stages still, only three apiece. So Gentle shooting deep now. Once again, slightly wrong edge on the disc. Yeah, Tebe de Clano with a real license to sling it at the moment. But uh, he might have it revoked on a temporary basis, suspended. Well, he can rest easy knowing that 
this gentle O-line's defense has been able to get the disc back every time. So. And both teams have had pretty smooth cruising results coming through to this match. Point capping pretty much everybody in their way. 15. I think there's probably been more air between Jet Set score lines. They've dominated their opponents a bit more. Whereas Gentle have been pushed that extra little bit. Bailout shot into the middle of the stack. Works out for Jet Set. But Gentle's defense clamping down now. And the upline shot does not work out. Yeah, a little bit too loose from Bouchon. The Granite getting the block back after the throwaway. And a short field to work with for Gentle's O line. As there's a call in the field. Yeah, accepted foul by the looks of it. So it looks off the centric pass, but eventually goes backwards. Jet set forcing Gentle backwards once again. All of Gentle's receivers pretty deep. Still cutting in the end zone, even though the disc is past the brick mark at this point. We do find a gainer there, though. Looks off the break side shot and goes for the inside forehand instead. Nicely done from Gentle once again. The row line holds despite the turnover. Yeah, but this, the way they made Gentle score, that's Van 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 der Wolde, who, Wilder, sorry, who reeled that absolute laser of an inside flick in. Great work from Jet Set to just frustrate, frustrate, deny repeatedly, and kind of keep them pinned in that sort of backspace, really pressuring kind of unders and uh, just clamping around the stack, playing really smart defense. And then Pieter Jan, the Mulanare, eventually just says, nope, lasers one through, but that could easily have bounced out of the clutch of Van der Wilder. That's, that's, it's one of those tricky, tricky throws because he faked the around backhand first, and then had to quickly pivot across and laser that IO forehand. And so often those, those throws miss their target as the throw is off balance and the window to throw into is closing rapidly but nicely done gentle huge layout block attempts but jet set retain possession and can we credit absolutely deliciously clean that one a bit less so there's a, a bit of a look on the face of christoph phillips there as That's benjamin a block for gets it yeah timeout called So this is potentially Gentle's best opportunity of the game to get a break. They have a short field to work with. Calling the timeout just to try and ensure it. As we see full rosters. Absolutely, home fields for Jet Set. Of course, thank you ever so much to all of the Jet Set players for organizing a fantastic event here in Leuven done a really great job but you know personnel wise both teams are missing a couple of players due to injury or family commitments i think the gentle are missing uh Middernacht. he's got some family stuff to do today but we've removed them all those are the players on the pitch that are uh, on your screen right now anyone stand out for you so far in this match league well demaray's layout callahan <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it goes without saying. I think it's been really interesting watching uh, Tob de Crane. Is the he's been a bit high risk, high reward. Mm. I, I think it's probably fair to say, as has Matt de Mare. You know, if if those big players for either of these teams can just find themselves some form and finesse, but zero clean holds thus far for Jet Set, but zero clean breaks for Gentle. We really did expect these two teams to have lots of grindy points where gaining and grabbing a little bit of momentum here to say short field for gentle this could be one of those moments you look back on and think that was where the game changed well that was the reason for the timeout. Simone's 
recognizing the gravity of the situation. But starting from static, tricky one for Dante Simons. So looking for a reset pass to begin with, and they do complete the first pass. No turnouts here. Swing to the far side, back to Simmons. And somehow that disc goes above both jet set defenders. A gentle shoot to the end zone now. It's going a bit high. <laughs> we have a Frisbee goal. <laughs> bit of conservation of greatness there, I think, from Benjamin Verreken. Really good heads up to sort of rise up and snag that slightly errant pass. And then a bit too hasty. So a missed opportunity for Gentle. A deep shot from Jet Set straight away. Is complete, just about slightly bobbled. <laughs> Holding on for dear life. And the pop to the end zone. Jet Set once again giving up possession but getting it back. Punching in the goal for a piece. All offensive holds so far. Gentle have to be kicking themselves for giving up that break chance. Yeah, that earlier turnover generated. Again, really enjoying this game for just the level of straight up blocks. And a great recatch there by Christoph Phillips. A great hustle around and redeeming himself from his earlier error, Arnold van der Oost. So levels, we are just trading. This might be one of those games, Luke, where it is trade, trade, trade with one break somewhere, somehow, and that being the only advantage. But time's starting to run out for this first half. Yeah, we might get to a Galaxy Point situation before seven apiece. Well, timed half in these games, so it might even yeah. not be uh, might not even be seven apiece. We might get half time sooner. But gentle working steadily down the field, dealing well with the jet set pressure. Deep shot now, though. Sailing, layout required, but just too far. And once again, the clean hold eludes Gentle. That was a really bizarre shot. Like, truly bizarre. <laughs> it didn't really look like the receiver was... I mean, they were cutting into the deep space, but there wasn't really that intention. The Mulanada sort of trying to have a bit of vision. And actually, I think the defender had a better eye on it. Almost looked like it was thrown to him. Mm. Bouchon bringing us in. Full stretch, though. Horizontal stack for Jet Set. Around backhand break to start. An immediate deep shot. Floating nicely. Well run down by Fock. Back to Bouchon. But Gentle's defense has recovered. But a quick one-two into the end zone. And the first break of the game goes to Jet Set. Bouchon with the score. Well, how about that? At long last. I think even though Gentle were generating more straight up blocks, absolutely gorgeous throw into the deep space. Having covered the shot that Gentle had put up. Ward Fock did a fantastic job of just keeping his eyes on the prize and using the win to the advantage. Those big backhand shots, keeping lots of air under them. You can really throw them out on a string and watch your player go and get it. And really good presence of mind, giving that deeper reset shot all the way back, taking the easy one and immediately blasting him. Karim Villard. Great give go move from Bouchon. Secure the goal and the hockey assist. 
All right, well, this is where Jet Set want to fire up their defense and really bring that energy back through. If you can get two breaks on the bounce in this game of inches, that will be something truly special. It all starts with the pull, and that's a good one. Lands in the end zone, bounces out the back. So Gentle have to go the full distance with Jet Set's defense. Ready, set up. I'd like to see them play a bit more conservatively. There have been some shots coming out of Gentle that seem just a bit frustrated, but it's a nice gain as a start. Yeah, I mean, Gentle have been getting the disc back mostly after the mistakes, but Bouchon with the block. Short field to work with for Jet Set. It's popped back to Bouchon, who calls a foul on the mark. The most delicate tip D I've ever seen. That was just so pretty. <laughs> So Jet Set's end zone offense well and truly set up. As Demare goes back. And a bit of stacking of that line with Demare on the defense. Bouchon once again. Around back and break to the end zone. Lots of pressure. The Jet Set retain possession. Bouchon has to run backwards a little bit. Another around back and break. As there is a collision in the stack. Oh, lots of touching of the head there. And Moyerson on the ground. Injury call. So he'll be replaced by Brecht Heymans who's been having a very good game on offense so far, shooting some absolute dreamy shots. So Disc will stay with Phillips on the far side for Jet Set. Has Demare in the middle. Duke's back for the reset. For that IO into the end zone, but finds Bouchon in the middle instead. Yeah, Heyman's really proving the fact that he's got fresh legs dancing in front of the mark, but. Bouchon, on the other hand. Well, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little moment of, of repose. You know, I. I don't hate it. We were already static. There's already a stall on. Actually, taking that moment to recenter yourselves after that lovely bit of defense to give the short field in the beginning. But uh, of course, this is what we're playing for. In your view now, the golden ticket, Luke. The golden ticket. To a Frisbee tournament though, not to a chocolate factory. <laughs> well, EUCF is better, right? Our little hand model, Felix Shardlow. <laughs> We really should get Felix on cam more often, especially in his fantastic Force Ultimate gear. Thank you so much to Force for uh, our Ulti TV stash. Trying to be more eco-friendly. So <laughs> the wind in the field mics. It was really clutch timeout call um, from Bouchon, because as soon as he called a timeout. There's a huge gust of wind <laughs> <laughs> that blew several items off of the tables in front of us. So. Oh yeah, but if they punched it in and then they were playing defense again, then that would have been mm. gentle having to shoot downwind with the absolute, like just furor of the wind behind us. You could, we have finally have a flag. We found we one. Have, we have a flag. We've been talking so much about the wind directions, but there have been no flags to show you great examples, but you can yet see the fluttering there. Maybe we'll have to bring it close to the pitch later. So disc is checked back in. Bouchon looking for an isolation at the front of the end zone. Nothing yet though, and... Yep, fair's fair, too much stumbling and dancing around. Didn't manage to just hoof it and have a go. But that is a hoof and have a go. Well, Phillips gets the block. And Jet Set will have a bit more distance to work with, but they do get the disc back. 
Huge missed opportunity. The jet set running hard now. If they slot this in, they have a huge advantage in the game. Phillips now shoots to the end zone. There's a wide open receiver. Pick call, though. But a pick is called. Yeah, that was that was uh, what we in the biz call suspiciously open. Mm. Not sure exactly when that pick occurred. Let's have a little look. Oh, yeah, there it is. Why switch when you can call pick? Yeah, really unfortunate there. I think if the pick hadn't occurred, there was decent separation. We know, though, that Van der Walder does have the speed to catch up if there's any kind of float. So Bouchon calling for someone to get into the reset space. Does find MRA. Just about. The Kalana doing an excellent job of playing match D against arguably one of the best players on Jet Set Squad. So disc to the far side. The jet Set. Bouchon now, just a few meters left to go, and does find Demare in the end zone. And that's two breaks in a row for Jet Set. They are establishing themselves in this game. Half time will be at seven. So they have an opportunity to break for half. But gentle. And then not only break for half, but receive the disc mm. on offense to start the second half. Well, we said about moments that are changing the shape of this game. And I think Gentle didn't need any more sort of veracity added to their style of play. They've been a little bit loose with their disc, a bit frustrated with the options. And Jet Set have just come out really focused, knowing what they need to do, taking their assignments. And, you know, they can bring the fire on D now over and over because they have that little bit extra confidence. But don't count Gentle out. They have a lot of experience at the high level. They're a very talented squad. They could easily see that margin disappear quite quickly. Well, they're getting opportunities. Obviously. And they're making themselves opportunities. It's not like Jet Set are just giving them the disc. They're really mm. grinding them out there. But maybe it's that they can't switch that intensity off, you know? Well... Getting a clean hold here would certainly boost their confidence. The jet set coming out firing, as they have been all game on defense. Deep shot goes up. Plenty of defenders underneath it, though. But nicely found. Fuse with the score for Gentle. Yep. The disc went straight into his hands. Defender's nice. got nowhere near it. Yeah, really lovely one shot there. Van der Vega, I think, with the throw. Just beautiful execution. And great run down from Jet Set. They certainly had a big go at it. Much better deep shot than your previous points. Straight to the receiver. Yeah, fantastic read as well from Arthur Furious. So that's a little bit of uh, conciliatory efforts from Gentle. Training the two breaks. So now, can Jet Set hold their nerve? That's my question. Well, wind has picked up. For Jet Set's O point. And also for Gentle's pull, as that sails out of bounds. Yep, we're seeing Tom Blasman return to the field. Absent for a couple of the uh, key breaks. But of course, they were D breaks, so he's an offensive line player picking up. Yeah. One of two pickups, there's also a Frenchman alongside the Jet Set squad. Demare back out for offensive duties. Bringing the disc to the brick mark for Jet Set. Side stack. Jet Set. 
Back to Bosman. Damare. Nice leading up line pass. Looks off Big the line coach to in the middle. Far side now to Phillips. Heyman's. Bosman cutting hard in the reset space. Heyman's again. What I'm really appreciating is the level of communication on pitch between the jet set players. But even when they're double cutting, they are really communicating and telling each other where they are, stopping the defenders from sort of, you know, taking advantage and poaching off. Even though they're trying real hard to poach off and confuse the space. So Phillips with the disc. Just a few meters shy. Has to go back though. Damare. Goes for the inside shot. Huge layout attempt. But it is missed and Jet Set punish with a quick break to the far side. They now lead 7 5 and take half. Yeah, commiserations to decline it. There's not really much more you can do to try and generate a block than to lay out on an inside shot like that. There was a window of opportunity, but half a heartbeat too slow. Dan Damare with that vision. Really nice inside shot. You can see a little bit of a slowdown, but again, really calm, cool execution from Brex Heymans. One of those real cogs that say keeping the disc alive and putting some lovely shots in for Gentle. Thus far, stats wise, he's got, I think, yeah, three assists of the seven for Jet Set so far. Jet set coming out on offense for the second half. As the half time cap went. So we didn't get to eight points. And that point last to finish the half, I think was an excellent reassurance for Jet Set. I mean, there's still a lot of game left to play. Yeah, there's only been two breaks. Although crucial breaks in the first half of Jet Set. Deep shot goes up now, looking for Phillips. Goes a bit too high, got a hand to it. Yeah, you can see a bit of responsibility taken there. I am a big fan of the mantra, if you can touch it, you can catch it. Although sometimes you touch it by just mildly flailing behind yourself. But a good just grind. I'm really surprised there was no sort of poach off the stack. But uh, a little bit of luck for Gentle this time. Well, their D-line has got the disc plenty of time so far this game. Have yet to convert the break, though. So they go deep themselves. Oh, a huge grab. Goes up between two defenders. But the pop to the end zone is a bit rushed. And Demare earns himself a block by just running in a straight line vaguely near, his, vaguely near the receiver. Yeah, that's definitely a turnover rather than a block, I'm going to say. <laughs> Especially after, I, I forget exactly who, but somebody had completely stacked it and was there nowhere near their mark after putting a huge effort in to the Klanet. Really up and down in this game. He's not firing on all cylinders. Oh, Phillips throwing the deep shot now. And it is blocked. Van der Roos not able to come down with that one for Jet Set. And Gentle's D-line get yet another break opportunity. Yeah, just not quite enough to best Adam van der Vega. Great defense. Pick cold. <laughs> the 
Well, what a contest we have. Oh, yeah. We knew this game was going to be good, though. Let's be honest. Gentle really need to get some breaks going, though. We're getting the opportunities. That they need to make the most of them before this game gets away from them. Big deep shot goes up. Fading to the far side and comfortably run down. And the first break of the game for Gentle. Coming at a crucial time. Yeah, finally one of those pacey deep shots works out. A little bit more swinging, I think, to just get it right this time. This is the turnover. Huge grab. An immediate conservation of greatness. As That's all right. It's fine. Demare was wearing an invisibility cloak. I don't know if you know. <laughs> Sneaky. This throw is so good, though. Yeah, Van der Vega, having had a quieter game than I expected based on my intel from Jet Set, Adam Van der Vega, or Van der Vega even, having a... Maybe, maybe that's the secret weapon. They finally brought him out. But that was a really lovely shot into the end zone. As you say, that's number one. Are we going to get a double break in response from Gentle, do we think? Well, that's what Jet Set managed to do towards the end of the first half. Gentle's D-line have been getting plenty of opportunities. But maybe that break was just the confidence they needed to go and secure another. So I believe that landed in bounds before bouncing out the back. So Bolson bringing the disc to the front of the end zone for Jet Set. off the immediate deep shot. Swings to the far side. Van der Moest. Up lines, Damare is brought down by Gentle though. Another break opportunity for this Gentle D-line and a short field to work with. But they give it right back once again. So many mistakes from this Gentle O-line, the D-line even. Well, when you play D-line, you've got a license to shoot, right? Well, you don't have a license to turn over on swing passes. <laughs> yes, he moments with him. You know, one he'd rather get back, let's be honest. But he's going to have to work really hard to try and do so. Still can't rising. Phillips looking for something. Goes back to Bolsman. Demare now. Interesting to see the look off to Phillips. Oh, nice low catch from Heymans. An immediate deep shot. It's floating nice and high, and it is caught in the end zone by Morrison. And that is some confident offense from Jet Set. Despite the turnover, they have faith in their throwers, faith in their receivers. And they get their eighth point of the game. My, Blech Heymans has just, I don't want to say what I want to say is he's not put a foot wrong really this game so far because I know that commentator's curse haunts all of us who stand in this booth. After that really lovely defensive grab for Ungergaard. We said that there was a fun, fun matchup, but look at that redemption. But no conservation of greatness. Looks at the shot and is like, absolutely yes. I was worried. <laughs> Picture perfect execution. And just, it's so nice and easy to run down. Like a little bit of pressure, because you're going to have pressure from Gentle, because they aren't that good at defense. But yeah, nice pull as well. Good job stopping the roll. Uh, yep, solid so fielding. And, and so a bit good wiping as well, making mm. sure it's not too wet. So his own defense for the first time this game from the Jet Set D-line. Yeah, I like it. It's a good idea. Changing the rhythm of the game a little bit, keeping the opponents guessing. Just, you know, they've not been executing their throws perfectly, but it, what it might do is give Gentle the ability to Ooh. have things chill. 
Oh, I take that back. That Wolf crossfield Fox. shot. Bit too spicy from Gentle and zero yards left to go for Jet Set. Song. Just advancing the disc slowly but surely, working around the back. Song with the disc once again. Goes for the around backhand. Holsters. Shot to the middle. And Visca with the score. Well, impressive stuff from the Jet Set D-line once again. Yeah, really lovely stuff. So I was just saying, as the, <laughs> as the disc went loose and up in the playing that zone might have actually had the opposite effect of allowing Gentle that little bit of a breather, that little bit of a confidence builder, but the pouncing of Ward Fock to take that high air and disc away, it's really good stuff. You can see a little look on Bouchard's face there. Bit of a high risk option maybe, very close defenders on the wow. tails, but that little bit of confidence and now they're back to two breaks up. <sighs> what a response from the Jet Set D-line. Bringing out the zone. Yep. Just at the right time. I wager we're not going to see the zone for a couple of points. Mm. Because, again, it's that, oh, you couldn't, yep. e couldn't even play against zone, could you? Well, you, you, only wanna, you don't want to show it too much. <laughs> Precisely. Give Gentle the chance to figure it out. And yeah, match. Yeah. Especially when match defense has been doing the job. So it's been one clean hold for Gentle so far this game. But they're just tearing up the yards on this possession outside the end zone already. The Karana with the disc for Gentle. Looking into the end zone. Has to reset though. Gets the disc across. Just calmly working it around the brick mark. Gentle very deep in the back of the end zone though. Just a few meters left to go. Nice around backhand break. And Van der Wude will get the score for Gentle. So second clean hold of the game for Gentle. So that's encouraging from their O-line, but the D-line's got some work to do. Yeah, I like that defense. It's pretty smart. We're finally seeing uh, Peter Jan de Moulinard able to be rewarded for his throwing efforts. But um, no, I like the, I particularly enjoyed the saggy poachy defense on the handler set. So Bouchon sort of looking over his shoulder, trying to assess the threats in the lane. Good communication. I mean, you've got the Clano immediately streaking deep to start that one and then coming back under. Not somebody you want to go, let go striding off towards the end zone. But as per usual, Jet Set are doing a really good job of just stopping those early looks as we get some fantastic doggo action on the sidelines here. A bit of husky for your delectation and a bit of visual interest. But uh, yeah, at the moment, Gentle just not quite having a great day at the office. And of course, this semi-final, the other side of the bracket will be played between Bad Skid and Terrible Monkeys. All in the name of that golden disc. Also a fiery game, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Two quality sides. I love how Terrible Monkeys had no real uh, intentions, well, not in expectations of doing fantastically well at this tournament. Very young squad, but they have been a delight to watch so far. Well, Injury call. We are going to focus on this semi-final, though. As... Is, is only polite, given that Jet Set are the hosts. <laughs> Gentle's defense causing Jet Set some problems at this point. Stemmeray holsters the deep shot on that far side. It's 
be fair, they've been causing them problems all game long. There have been some really, really intense bits of coverage, some really good blocks, and oftentimes Jet Set are having to play at the very edges of their capability. But it's great to have a team push you to do that. Yeah, the great teams are happy to play at the edge of their comfort zone. That's what makes them so formidable to play against. Indeed, an early season getting those reps in those tight games. What more could you want? Yeah, really makes a difference later in the season. Have that confidence that you can power through against tight defense. Huge layup bid attempts, but Phillips retains possession, pops it to Demaray in the end zone. And it's a clean hold for Jet Set. Well, double digit territory for Jet Set now. And the stats for both sides relatively well spread. Phillips getting his second assist. Of course, missing, missed out on that uh, big goal he could have had. Hit him right in the hand. Well. But certainly, Jet Set are putting together enough to keep themselves in charge of this game. Feels like we might be settling out into a bit more trading. Yeah, both teams fully settled into this game now. All of the weird early game jitters of both O-lines turning over and getting it back seem to have disappeared. We are seeing relatively short lines from both rosters. Lots of the same players out on the field, which I don't hate. You know, tournaments are very long. There are lots of games yesterday. Both teams were aware of that, making sure they were resting certain players and allowing the other individuals on their roster to get them into the semi-final. So Gentle looking to continue the streak of clean holds that we've seen past few points. Again, some loose defense on the handlers. Trying to take away those options downfield. Yeah, it's really good switching in the, in the upfield space. Still count. Rising, but gentle. Find the reset. Gentle having to really work every pass. The crowner with the disc now goes up line. Gets it back in the middle. Some tired legs on both teams now as this point continues on. Both teams working so hard, but Gentle do find the option on the far side. Nice cutting in the end zone to secure the clean hold. And that's the third clean hold in the row. Wolf Osterling there, pulling an absolute shift to keep that one in his grasp and in bounds. You could really see that entire point, how much Jet Set were just trying to grind Gentle's O-line to dust. There were points where actually, and it's not an easy feat to do to Gentle, if I can dare say it, they looked a little bit tired with that little bit of exploded coverage. The break side, well exposed on that far side line, just squeaking it through. Well, Jensen's low line get the job done. So Gentle's D line have some work to do now. As Bouchon centers to Demare. Jet set who goes deep. Straight away. Caught just shy of the end zone. And there's the 1v1. Javier with the assist. Well, a timeout call from Jet Set. Not surprised to see. Even though they don't really need to take anything to settle their nerves, that was a bit of a gimme, wasn't it? That was a great throw. And the fourth clean hold in a row in the second half. In 
maybe Dan Damade a little bit tired of running. <laughs> I'm kidding. He runs around like he just got out of bed. But like in a good way, not a sleepy way. Like when I just get out of bed, I'm very sleepy indeed. But really good, confident, calm offense. Revere gets himself on the stats board. So as the teams take a quick break, so are we. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. So five minutes left in regulation. Jet set with comfortable lead at this point. I know miles out of bounds pull, so that will be bricked for sure. But um, yeah, we have to say it over and over and over again. Thank you so much, Jet Set, for hosting such a fantastic event. Maybe there's a, a little bit of uh, karma smiling upon the hosts who've had quite the grind. The seeding done by the EUF put them first seed coming into this tournament out of random pulls. But they had an early start, not the three pull. So they've really earned their spot here. Yeah, it would have been convenient of them to have been put in the pool with only three teams and given them more time to do tournament organizing, but that's not how things worked out as Gentle put a nice forehand blade into the end zone for yet another clean hold, Hannah. Yeah, when it works, it really does work for Gentle. They're showing that they do have that class, they can execute, but They've just not been consistent enough so far in the game. It was breaks in the first half. Really the story of this game. Vision there from Tom Declana though. Just seeing the soft side, putting it beautifully into that pocket. Gentle really need to get some breaks right now. Time is running out. Ball goes up from Gentle. Sent it there, Finds the first cut on this near sideline. Centering back to Phillips. Demare again. Holsters the deep shot. Still really enjoying the defense of Angagor on Demare as we see another massive grab out of Heyman's. Yeah, doesn't mind back. picking it up low, it seems. Well, he's clearly a very flexible gentleman. Mm. Maybe he does some uh, you know, cross-training with yoga and the like. Lastman. Sends this to Demare, but there's a pit call. Yeah, it looks like Angagor got a bit caught in traffic. So that one will come back. Throw goes to Demare again anyway. Heyman's on the far side. Oh, cheeky toss pass. Very nice. This pick's called. Bit of a grindy point. 
Well, we're in the last minute of regulation time now. So if Jet Set can play a bit of keepy disky and put it in for about another 40 seconds, that would be a, a gentle advantage. Excuse the pun. Mm. Another nice low catch this time for Phillips. Looking for something. Does find Demaray in the reset space. Demaray having to put in a shift this point. Keeping the possession alive. Gravier goes across the Blossman. Vandiverse now. Heymans shoots to the end zone for Demare, who's putting in so much work in the reset space all point long, but eventually sneaks into the end zone for the score. Well, he was a tempting option. Demare was sat in that back sort of pocket of the end zone for quite some time, and it was just about waiting patiently to get the disc to the correct side of the pitch to really make that shot. The crosswind you absolutely do not want to take on from that sort of far swing position to that front corner on that break side. But time expired. After the catch. Just after. So mm. we're going to finish this point. So either game to 13 or game to 14. But Brecht Heyman's still having a great day at the office. Now let's see what the... Uh, I'm going to say... A relatively stacked D-line from Jet Set can do against what is likely to be a very tight O-line from G. Gentle. Yeah. Not really any time left in the game for Gentle to come back. They need to put in this O-point nice and clean and then get their D-line out there. We'll have a monstrous task ahead of them. As Gentle... Center the disc. A hard defensive jet set. Do you find an option down the far side though? Deep shot holstered. Lots of pressure on the force. And it's flattened fine. as well. The forces are really flat. Oh wow. What a catch that would have been. But unfortunately, Usterlink can't quite get his hands to it. Well, Wolf Usterlink has been really, really hard pressed in this game. The gentle have lost a lot of him, and he's reeled in quite a few very spicy, spicy throws. But I think that was De Krana on the throw away. So big opportunity now for Jet Set's D-line. They can basically put this game to bed if they put this in. But this disc is floating. Jets are underneath it and do come down with it. I think a bit of contact when he came down to earth though. A bit of a base smack and injury gonna be called. Let's take another look. Went up nice and early. Yeah, I think that's a bit of friendly fire, wasn't it? Yeah. Van der Vega. But what a catch! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just what Gentle needed. Getting the disc straight back after the throwaway. Securing a catch with the slide. Full dumping back. Gift goes looked off though. Sean jumping on the force to try and stop that break. Still can't rising though. Tense moment for Gentle. Floats one into space. And there will be some discussion as both players got their hands to it at roughly the same time. Well, I have a feeling that we're. That looked pretty good on the on the D, but we're going to get some VAR action on the go. Let's take a look. Oh. 
It's tricky because the momentum of the offense of the Klana comes in. That's the position is definitely there for the defense. But so, so cluster close. of players behind us to make a decision. It's interesting because obviously the double hands, you might argue you have stopped it's rotation, have more control sooner. The momentum pulls you through. It's really one of those real thinkers. But of course, in a simultaneous catch situation, advantage goes to the de uh, the offense, sorry. So I have a right. feeling we're gonna send that one back. Yeah, it's unclear. But heck, what a great read from the off defender. Shout out to Yes, he looks. So this goes back in a high release offhand backhand to the break side and a continuation into the end zone does secure the offensive hold for Gentle. Yeah. So 12 10, game to 13. After it's a very risky play, that was uh, much more conservative, wasn't it? Was that Wolf Osterlick with the goal? I believe so. Let's be taking another look. Yeah, after being overthrown before, De Mulanara manages to find the target. Great effort from Ward Fock, though, laying out on the mark to try and desperately stop that around. And a cheeky offhand backhand toss into the wind. But right, game point number one. Yeah, Jets at Zolan. Three opportunities to put this away. Huge task, huge task ahead for Gentle's D-line there. It really is. Although if they can get the first two and take it to Universe, anything can happen. Well, it's also the thing of not only have Gentle got to get the D on Jet Set, but they also have to do it against the wind, which is now starting to really bluster up again. So Phillips finds Hazeman. Up line. An immediate pop back. And that's the first turnover that Gentle need. Yeah. Heyman's not able to scoop that one off the ground. He's done a real good job of catching everything flung at him so far. Heyman's being asked a bit too much. Demare, I think, getting a little bit too excitable on that far sideline. There's a lot of wind, as you say, swirling around that just puts that, you know, it's looser disc down on the floor. You have to generate so much spin on the disc to get it to hover. The wind has now dropped. The elements favoring gentle. Yeah, and if they can put this one in then that's some serious confidence going into the next of the two game points that gentle will be looking to save far side now deep shot it's hanging two players underneath it jet set come down with it and immediately almost throw away but MRA rescues possession for jet set it's <laughs> revere there my goodness, after having such a great read. Oh, oh that's no. the straight up errors. Van der Roost can't keep control of that disc. Give Gentle a short field to work with. Dancing in the reset space does find the upline though. Looking for something, anything in the end zone. Has to go backwards. Good composure from Gentle. They do find something in the middle and there it is the first of three breaks required gentles d-line stepping up when it matters that was just bizarre the moment just seemed to get the better of jet set after that throw away made it so difficult jet set have been so composed all game long especially in the second half so many clean holds point just got away from them that was really great d though that it must have been i don't know nine and a half when that centering pass went out this nearly comes unstuck but i really like the sense and presence of mind 
from De Clano to actually put that little pump fake in as he's getting off the floor, you know? Like, sends the defender, bites on it so hard that then that opened just window straight in front. Easy, easy stuff. But you know, you make your own luck, as they say. Yeah, Jensen got close, but close is not good enough. Gentle punch in the break. Well, game point two of a potential three. Are we going to get a universe finish? Well, last time that went in the favor, of course, of Gentle. So same O line out for Jet, Jet Set. Demarate. Tries to find Heymans, but goes too high. Gentle immediately punched the other way. And that goes too high. Lots of pressure from Blastman. Ooh, what a feelings. moment that could have been. <laughs> my feelings right now. This game is on a knife's edge. So, jet set. Get their offense underway once again. Back to Demare. Surveying the field. Tight defense from Gentle though. Keeping things close so far. Big deep shot goes up. And despite the layout, Gentle get the block. That was such a just frustrated shot into the deep space. Way too low. When Jet Set have been rinsing it into the deep to the left side of the pitch, it's been all about the separation trusting the receiver, putting it out there, knowing that they're going to have the legs to get under it. That was just an absolute laser that came down to earth in quite an awkward way. But you also have yards now. Gentle have to go the full stretch. So can this jet set power line get the disc back? They have done in previous points. But it's the end of the game now, tired legs. Different situation. Very composed offense from Gentle so far. They've had a tendency to just punch it deep immediately in previous points. Trying to work the unders now. There's the deep shot. Demarais underneath it. And that just sails too far into the ground. Yeah, a nice bid just for style from the clan of there. But this is very tense. Blastman now, four jet set. Looking for Demaray in the reset space. Does find him. Looking for something downfield. Has to go back to Blastman. And injury was called, but not sure if the players involved in the play noticed. Well, the technicalities of the thing is it's a stoppage when the injury happens. But obviously, if the players wish to overrule that, they are more than able to do so. One of those fun little situations where there's quirkiness in the rules. But turnover will stand. So Red zone for Gentle. Massive opportunity for Gentle now. As I said earlier, if they take it to Universe, anything can happen. One more pass is required though, and they do get it. 12 all. Game to 13. So this is now purely a case of holding your nerve. We saw that error out of the block. I really feel sorry for Heymans. He has had such a great game so far. And then this point, it just came a little bit unstuck. Great redemption defense there, but they have the win behind them. It's just a case of, I think, cycling through everybody. I think. Jet Set are looking a little bit backed into a corner these past two points. They're looking for those connections to be there and the gentle defenders know they have to go and generate turns by putting pressure onto those handler resets. They've been allowing 
more or less trying to poach and cluster and confuse the deeper spaces in the pitch so far of Gentle Stairs defense. And now they're starting to tighten the screws on those resets to really try and fluster lower percentage shots downfield. But actually, maybe that point should have taken some of those lower percentage shots a little bit earlier. You had the ability to. <laughs> Whereas it seemed to be on resets, things were, you know, bopping up into the air, going against that win. But Gentle, with all the momentum charging towards Jet Set, can the hosts hold them off? Tense moments here in Levant. But what more could you ask for on a Sunday morning? Absolutely. The universe real. point in the semi-finals. And can we say this has been a really, really well-spirited game? It has. For the intensity that it's been played with. Yeah, credit to both teams for putting on a show. So, pull goes up. Final pull of the game. Can Jet Set hold their nerve? Glassman centers to Demare. What a game he's been having. Heymans goes deep. Sailing a little bit wide. Will it come back in? Yes, it will. Caught in the back of the end zone. An absolutely pin perfect deep shot from Heymans. And what a result that is for Jet Set. The hosts take the game on Universe. Gentle gave them a big scare. Getting two breaks in a row to take it to Universe. But Jet Set secure their place in the final. They get to play for that coveted UCF spot. As I say, missed out on qualification through the European Regionals last year. They might not even have to play them this year. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll turn up to go and enjoy and get themselves warm up, even if they do manage to win that final which will be coming at you later this afternoon but oh my word as everybody clustered towards the sideline and blocked our view of where that just was coming into Luke my heart was in my throat Heyman's having come unstuck in the last two points but been so consistent shooting deep throughout the course of this game so nice to see that final execution and a clean hold just to chef's kiss <laughs> it off. But I think Jet Set just had that extra bit of form. Demare with that layout Callahan, which feels like a distant wow, memory yeah. at this point that earlier on in the game. <laughs> just a lovely finish on that one, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, it really sort of just, I think, gave Jet Set that little bit of firepower they needed, a bit of, a, you know, warmth in the, <laughs> in the hands and the fingers. Gentle really played high octane ultimate they were throwing themselves all over the pitch really generating turns hats off to benjamin svartz had got three proper full-on blocks early stages but it was just yeah holding the nerve game of attrition d lines across the board had so many opportunities given to them well say given still so taken but uh yeah just really great stuff from both sides and at the end of the day, I think a deserved win for Jet Set. Absolutely. They look like the better team for the majority of the game. And an absolutely clutch throw to secure the victory at the end of it. As we see the teams doing their little pre-spirit circle, spirit circles, just to discuss what they want to say in the main spirit circle. Take a look at the stats from the game. Of course, it's all about those breaks, and they were three apiece, but Jet Set won the toss and secure the win. They were ahead for the majority of the game. Well, Jet Set didn't win the toss. No, they broke in the first half, of course. Indeed, indeed. They, they took they but led the first half and then yeah, two clean breaks to Gentles none. The D-line was firing just that little bit more for Jet Set. Absolutely. We did see a lot of tightening of lines from both sides. And I think it was just, you know, putting the, the weight on the shoulders of those top spot roster players, you know, that we had the likes of the Klana having a bit of a, as I've said many times, a bit of an up and down game for him. 
some fantastic moments of absolute greatness, some very curious, <laughs> wonderful, but maybe a bit too ambitious things that happened. Wind was certainly a factor. The gustiness of the fact that, you know, sitting at those big backhand around throws for a uh, jet set versus sort of, you know, the swirliness, really pressuring those swings. But two very talented teams, and this is just the beginning of the season, Luke. I'm really excited, stoked even, to watch as the Belgian ultimate scene take on the rest of Europe throughout the rest of this year. Yeah, so much more ultimate left to be played in this season. Coming up today, we've got a 3 4 playoff, so we'll be seeing Gentle playing in that coming up next. But we have to also secure agreement from the loser of the other semi final. True. They have the option of moving their game forward into the next time slot if they choose to. We know Gentle already want to. Mm. I'm sure whoever of Terrible Monkeys and Bad Skid was the uh, the loser in that round. I'm sure they will also want to be here on Alti TV's live stream. So make sure you keep your eyes glued to the box. Mm -hmm. But either way, we will have the final coming up for you later today. So stay tuned for that. We'll get to see more of this fiery Jet Set team. But thank you all so much for tuning into the semi-final. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for the next rounds shortly. See you there.